What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Asia if this is your first time here. If you want to see how I got this extra beat smoky glam look then stay tuned and keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl if you want to see more client tutorial videos like this. So first we're going to start by combing out her brows and we're going to be um, slicking them down with some got to be gel. Now I'm going to be taking my Benefit Brow Pencil and we're just going to be drawing her brows on and doing light hair strokes. Now I'm going to be going in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're just going to be carving out her eyebrows and we're also going to use this as an eyeshadow base.
taking our Real Technique sponge, we're just going to blend all of that out. Make sure that we have a nice, smooth canvas for the eyeshadows to blend onto. Now we're going to take this Juvia's Place eyeshadow and we're just going to be popping this shade into the outer corner and we're just going to be blending that out into the crease. Now I'm going to be taking a deeper brown and we're just going to blend that into the crease and make it a lot um, more smoky. Now I'm going to be cutting like a half cut crease using that same concealer. Now I'm going to be taking my Soft Glam um, palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and we're just going to be packing this lighter shade onto her eyelid. Now I'm taking my Inglot gel liner and I'm just going to be winging, well I'm not going to do a wing, It's I'm going to like stop in her eye if that makes sense and I'm going to like smoke it out.
going to be taking this black shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and we're just going to be smoking out the edge of where we did that liner and blending the black into the crease. And with the black, we're just blending it on the outer of the crease. We're not necessarily bringing it um, throughout the whole entire crease, just staying on the outer um, portion of the eye. And I'm going back in with those same brown shades and we're just gonna blend everything out. And I'm just going back in with that liner, making sure everything is even. Now I'm going to pop on her lashes. Now we're going to be taking our Milk Hydro Grip Primer and we're just going to be popping that all over her skin. For foundation, I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation and we're just going to be placing that all over her face and then we're gonna be blending it out with a Real Technique sponge. And we're also gonna be carving out her brows. Taking that same tart shaped concealer, we're just going to be popping out under her eyes. Her chin, her nose, and her forehead. Taking my black opal foundation stick, we're going to be cream contouring with this. And we're just going to blend that out using this fluffy but dense Morphe brush.
Taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder, we're just going to be popping this under the eyes and everywhere that we set the concealer on her face. And I like using a sponge while doing this because I feel like it really sets the powder into your skin versus when you put uh, use a brush, it just sets the powder on top and it can also leave your skin looking powdery versus nice and smooth. So I'm just taking a little bit of that powder and I'm just dusting off um, all the excess powder and while I'm doing that I'm rubbing it onto the places that we contoured as well now I'm going to be taking those same deeper shades and we're going to be smoking out her lash line Now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty um, bronzer and we're just going to be bronzing up her skin, bringing color back into her face, making her look all nice and contoured or bronzed. Taking my Patrick Tall blush and we're just going to pop this onto the apples of her cheeks. Now we're going to take my Morphe spray and we're just going to spray her face and then we're going to take the sponge and we're going to pat all of that setting spray into her skin. And this is really going to take away the powdery look. Now I'm using, of course, my Doll Beauty Highlighter. We're going to pop that onto the apples of her cheeks and her brow bone, her nose, chin, all that cute stuff. Now we're going to take this Smashbox Mascara and we're just going to pop this onto her lash line. Her la I can't talk, y'all. Her bottom lashes. Taking KKW in 2.5 and we're just going to be outlining her lips with this and then we're going to use Maybelline Driver Lips Liquid Lipstick and then we're also going to be using Milani's Lip Gloss. And that is the finished look, you guys. She is so pretty. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to be back with more client tutorial videos, period. Period. But, yeah, that's it for today, y'all. I'm Asia MUA, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Deuces.